Republicans are far more likely than Democrats to claim that banning public worship during the pandemic violates religious freedom. Those findings in a new poll. It seems like every single day the government is giving us new mandates and suggestions. The same University of Chicago AP poll also shows Republicans over Democrats say prohibiting drive-in services violates religious freedom by a margin of two to one. Meanwhile, faithful Catholics around the world have been questioning church closures. I believe that faith strengthens your immune system. If you really believe, you won't catch it. The Wall Street Journal has noted that all along, a vocal minority of Catholics have criticized the suspension of masses, arguing that a crisis is when they need the church the most. The virus has prompted secular and religious leaders to say they are using prudence in suspending public worship. But as some reports have noted, there seems to be a disconnect between natural prudence and supernatural faith. God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. The voice of the faithful has not fallen on deaf ears. Recently, a federal judge ruled Kentucky churches could open for public services beginning May 10th. Pacific Justice Institute, PJI, of Oregon, is suing its governor for what it calls a blatant violation of the state's constitution. And the concern of faithful Catholics has prompted a petition letter from Archbishop Vigano on church independence and religious persecution. As more parishes resume public masses and confessions in a post-Wuhan world, time will tell whether a new normal arises from the ashes. Michael Voris, Church Militant, Detroit.